Good evening, everybody. Welcome to the last day of this training. I sincerely want to apologize for coming late today. I'm so sorry about that. I want to appreciate everybody for attending this training from day one to today. I am glad you all did. Now, before I commence, like I said to you all, this training is not over. A fresh one commences, or we commence on Monday, which is 4th of October through to 18th of October. Like I said, the cost for that advanced class is 10,000 naira. I repeat, the cost for that advanced class is 10,000 naira. Tonight, I will drop the account details for you so that you can make payments for the advanced class. And once you make that payment, I will take you and add you to the Telegram platform. Once you are added in that Telegram platform, then the training commences 9 p.m. on Monday. It commences when? 9 p.m. on Monday. Thank you very much for coming. So what do we have for today? Today, we are going to look at my FX book. I'm going to teach you how to new trade using my FX book. We'll also look into Forex Factory. Do not dive into trading. No, no, no. Trading view. Trading view is the day one of the advanced class. Are you? I don't want to see what I'm not going to do. Trading view, we'll talk about that in day one of the advanced class. Thank you very much. So let's start. So, starting with my Facebook. Just call me on site, my Facebook.com. Once you type my Facebook.com. Then it's my Facebook.com. Just come to home. Once you get to home, click on Forest Calculator. Once you go to Forest Calculator, I repeat, go to home, go to Forest Calculator, then click on Position Size Calculator. Once you get to Position Size Calculator, you see pop out. So once this appears, you see that this is position size calculator. You see currency pair. You see account size, account currency. You see risk ratio. And that risk ratio is in percentage. You also see stop loss. You see trade size, which is also lot. So let's say somebody like Mr. Cipra wants to trade a currency pair. And that currency pair is XAU. You know, let me use GPP USD. You might will come click on this drop down arrow. Then you now go to GPP USD. Look at GPP USD. What account size? Is it USD, dollars, card, blah, 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 you know? I, I, I'm count size. How much are we looking at? $1,000. What is he risking? He's risking 3%. What piece is he using? 40. Calculate. At the base, you will see that what this man is risking is $30. The man is only risking $30 out of $1,000. Class. I must tell you today, the only reason why you never have a bond account is when you use the proper risk management. I repeat, the only way you never have a bond account is when you use a proper risk management. Now look at it. This man has done so. 
then it means that this man will either lose $30 or he will gain $30. I repeat, this man will either lose $30 or he will what? gain $30. And what sizing are we looking at? We are looking at a lot size of what? 0.08. Are you good? We are looking at a lot size of what? 0.08. So that's the lot size we are looking at. Let me just quickly go to my board. Let's do the mathematics. 3% of $1,000. So that's three of 100. Three of 100 times $1,000. $0.08. Three times 10, that's 30. Now, what this is just connoting is that with that $1,000, you either gain $30, which is plus 30, or what? Or you lose $30, which is minus 30. So in other words, it's either Mr. Sipra gets $1,030 uh, or he goes back with a loss of $30. To me, it is not bad. The most important thing is you use the right lot. Sorry, you use the right risk management. It's not a bad thing to me. Are you with me? So that's that. Are you with me? So that is that now now forest factory aside calculator position side calculator can be used for a whole lot of activities and the one i'd like to talk about today is news trading is news trading now tomorrow is october 1st how you think it means that nitra is out and that is about 61 years, I guess. And if you, if you are 51 years old, now if you look at it very close, you observe that if we come to the economy calendar, once you click on it, we want to predict how to tell if you are going to buy or you what you sell in the forest market. Now look at it. Once I go to economy calendar, there is something I'll see here. I'll virtually see economic calendar dates, time left, events, impact, previous, consensus, actual. Are you with me? I'll see all of this. Now, if you look at the base of this place, if you look at the bottom of this place, this is telling you that a news, hello, if you look at the bottom of this place, this is telling you that a news, is going to be launched in one hour, 16 minutes time. Look at the bottom of this place. The bottom of this place is telling you that a news will soon be launched in one hour, 15 minutes time. So what do you think I should do? What I should do is that I will just go and locate that news. Let me look for that news. Oh, just look at this. Just look at this. And truly, look at that place where you have a red, a blue, a green uh, room. Look at it. NZD. AN Roy Morgan Consumers Confidence. Let me click on it and see what we have with the news. Look at this. A higher than expected figure should be seen as positive bullish for the NZD, while a lower than expected, expected figure should be seen as negative bearish for the NZD. Are you doing? Now, the question is. How can you trade this kind of news? How can you trade this kind of news? I'll tell people something. That what you should concentrate on first is the impact of the news. How is the impact, how is the news going to affect the market? Like for instance, look at it very well. Coming to this place, you see high, high. You see medium, you see low. In fact, in some other sites, 
They don't need to tell you whether it's high, high or low, low. They will even indicate with what? They will indicate with colors. Look at it very well. Your eye symbol goes with what? Red. Your medium goes with orange. And your low goes with what color? It goes with green. Are you with me? So, I always tell people something that the best impact to capitalize on is the high impact. Are you with me? The best impact, I repeat, to capitalize on is the high impact. Now, let's take a very good example. Let's say, sorry, I don't want to do CNY. CNY is Chinese yuan. You know, in China, what they spend there is yuan. Let me look for another good example. Just look at this. Just look at this. Unemployment change. You, uh, unemployment rate. Are you saying this? Now, Euro, Germany, is on II. Euro, Germany, is on II. Look at it. You will see two figures. Minus 53, and you see what? Minus 30K. Sorry, let me use another example. I don't want people to be confused because of the minus minus thing. I can let me use another example. A better one. Oh, this news have not been launched. Let me look for news that have been launched. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, okay. Sorry, it's even the CNY and uh, it's still in um, China. Now look at let me use the China then. China CN um, um China Yuan, China Yuan. Impact I I. Look at it, you have impact previous, consensus, actual. Because the previous means that the value here is, if your previous is lower than your actual, class, I'm repeating this. If your previous is lower than your actual, what do you do? You buy in the forest market. I repeat, if your previous is lower than your actual, what do you do? You buy in the forest market. Look at it, look at a good example here. If your previous, if your actual is less than your previous, what do you do? You sell in the forest market. If your actual is less than your previous, what do you do? You sell in the forest market. So with that, with this, I can tell if I can enter the market or not. Are you saying that? So do you know what consensus means? Consensus means that that is the fixed price or that is the agreed value in the country. Are you with me? Consensus means that that is the agreed value in the country. You get that. So take note. If your actual is greater than your previous, what do you do? You buy. If your actual is not less than your previous, just like the second, what do you do? You sell. Are you with me? So that's that. Let me take a look at other pairs. And I've always noticed something about this news. For the ones that have not been launched, the actual will not display, or the previous will be there. Are you okay? So that is that. I want to briefly talk about NFP news because NFP news will come up tomorrow. What is NFP news? NFP news is non farm payroll. I repeat, NFP news is non farm payroll. NFP news is a news that is actually launched in the United States. And that news is launched by the Labor Bureau of Change or so. I have some sort of such in the United States. Is it only in the United States you trade NFP news? No. You can also trade NFP news or some other countries that are related, that also do business with US. Now, the question is, how and when do I trade NFP news? I want to say something to quickly, class. If, for instance, you are in a profit, let's say you are you are in a currency and you are in a profit, and let me say something again. NFP news is always launched every one thirty of the first Friday of every month. NFP news is always launched every one thirty of the first Friday of every month. Like as tomorrow now is the first Friday of October. NFP news will be launched around 1.30. Are you there? NFP news will be what? 
if we launch around one person. Now, let me say something very important. If you are at that moment, let's say for instance, you are in a trade and you are in a profit, it's better you close that trade in a profit. Because whenever the LFP news is launched, there's a high momentum in the market. The velocity of the candle, the speed of the candles increases. Are you with me? And if you are in profit, God forbid, but the team goes behind you, you might be in a big loss. And that would be a big regret. Yes, yeah, somebody would be, might be saying, what if I'm in the market and I'm in a loss? And then FP news appears. Don't feel bad. If you're in the market, NFP news appears, the best thing to do, <laughs> I repeat, the best thing to do is to remove your stop loss. How can you remove your stop loss from that chip trade? Just go to the stop loss where you have the value, go there and type 0 0.00000. Immediately you type 0 0.000 on the chart, that red stop loss line will disappear. Are you with me? So even if the market goes worse, you just have to be patient. But if you know that in that NFP news, before the, and you are in a loss, you can bear the loss. When I mean bear the loss, let's say somebody who has $100 account, since the NFP news is coming, and you have like minus two point, uh, minus $2, you can close it in loss. You don't have to feel bad. Are you, you can close it in loss. You don't have to feel bad. Okay, somebody asks, please, is the news launched 1.30 p.m. or 1.30 a.m.? You are blessed, sir. The news is launched 1 30 p.m. If you think I'm lying, go to any chart like for my uh, myfxbook.com or investing.com, check deadlines. You will see that the news will, will be waiting. You will see that the headlines will be displayed at the bottom, showing that NFP news will be launched very soon. Are you with me? So that is NFP news. Look at my chart. Number one. Five simple steps to trade NFP news. Number one, set up your chart in 15 minutes. I will explain why. Hmm. You know, if you come to advanced class, I'll teach you that. You know, in I need to say this tonight. So many people always ask me that, Mr. Gosman, what's the best time frame to trade on? I always tell them, well, time frames are the time it takes a candle to be printed. You know, that 15 minutes time frame means that. Every candle is printed in 15 minutes. <laughs> Let me put myself. Every candle is printed every 15 minutes, whether a bullish candle or a bearish candle. In other words, if a candle is, imagine a chart where candles are printed in 15 minutes. It means that, that those candles will be very fast. Are you with me? Listen, step two, take no action for the first 15 minutes after the NFP news. Somebody might say, ah, the thing is going up as a buy. NFP news, blah, 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 enter as a buy. It will shock you. The market will reverse so heavily that if it does not burn your account, it's by the grace of God. Are you with me? If it does not burn your account, it's by the grace of God. Just wait, after 15 minutes, make your decision. Now listen, step three. Wait for an inside bar to form. Wait for an inside bar to form and low of the inside bar. If you look at my screen, you will see that in between that, those two blue lines, I will explain these things more in the advanced class. There is something like an inside bar that is like a that is like a blue hammer. I will explain hammer and shooting stars to you in the advanced class. That's candlesticks. So once that thing forms, and the next candle that appears is a Green candle or a blue candle, what do you do, class? Enter that market immediately as a buy. Look at the last one. Place a stop loss above or below. Yes, yes, is normal. If your stop loss exceeds 30 pips, don't take that trade. It's normal. Put your stop loss so that even if God forbid the market reverses, you are not going to go home and be crying that you have lost all your money. Are you eating? So that is that about NFP news. Don't worry, in the advanced class, see, let me tell you the beauty about the advanced class. In that advanced class, as I am dropping the recorded videos in the Telegram group, I am dropping the PDFs. If I show you my PDF, okay, you know what? I don't want you to look as if maybe my mouth is sweet or I am lying. Let me take you to my screen. 
and show you. Let me show you the course outline for the advanced class. Look at it. Look at it. Look at it. Class, these are the course outline for the advanced class. You can see it is loaded. Imagine a course outline that is having 856 kilobytes. You know what that means? 380s. These, in fact, the last candle, the PDF has almost like almost like 24 to 25 slides. Are you with me? With 10 classes. Look at it. It's waiting for you there for the two weeks. Are you with me? So that is that about NFP news. That is that about NFP news. Quickly, let me go to my FX book. My FXbook.com. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Investing.com. Investing.com. Investing.com is just a trading site that you can use to predict one, the number of pips launched in the market, two, to read the charts, whether you, are, you should enter the market as a buy or whether you should enter the market as a sell. Look at it, investing.com. You have insights, news, analysis charts, technicals, brokers, tools. Uh, portfolios. Let's say I come to tools. From tools, I go to forex volatility. I click on it. Once I scroll up, I'll see AD card with 7.84. Now look at it. This means that for the week, this is exactly what has been assigned to AUD card. Are you with me? This means that for the week, this is exactly what has been assigned to what? To AUD card. Look at my next one, AUD CHF. It, this means for the week, this is what has been assigned to AUD CHF, which is what? 53.81 pips. I hate it. So now look at it. Somebody is greedy. Might want to go and go for 100 pips. How on earth, how on earth would you, would you see that 53.81 pips is assigned to a trade? Then you you want to go for you want to go for such I hate me. that is not possible. So that is AUD card CHF rather I hate me. So that is that when it comes to prediction of pips like me, I don't need to come to all these places because since when I've been trading, I I rarely go above ten pips in all my trades. I rarely go above ten pips. So if you look at it, all the pips here. They are all above what? Saying pips. All the pips here, they are all above what? Saying pips. So let's proceed. So now the next one is the next one is the news. Let me talk about the news. Let me quickly talk about the news. Now, sometimes you can come here and check your news. Your news, just click on news and go to Forex. Are you with me? Just click on news and go to Forex. So once you go to Forex, then from Forex, you see something like, look at it. You will see dollar remains near one year high. Hello, when they tell you that dollar remains high. What does it mean? It means that dollar is going up. Are you with me? It means that what? Dollar is going up. So in that case, what do you do? You come here. You come here. And if I were you, I can, I can even trade that market as at that time. You look at it so clearly. You see something like for GPP USD. Dollar is high. It means that GPP is low. So what do you enter this market as? You enter this market as a sell. Why are you enter this market as a sell? Because dollar is high and GPP is what low. Now you can even trade 
this thing in two ways. I know you'll be wondering how. How can I trade this in two ways? For instance, you have you have you can also trade USD card because dollar is high. Because dollar is I, here's the card. So because this one is I, it means this one is low. So you can enter this market as what? As a buy. You can enter this market successfully as what? As a buy. So that's that about investing.com. You can play with it too. Investing.com is also very, 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 very wonderful. You can play with that. Next phase, Forest Factory. Next phase, Forex Factory. Now, if I come to Forex Factory, I know some of you that trade here, you know about Forex Factory. One reason why I like Forex Factory is that Forex Factory gives you the headline of news, not more. One reason why I like Forex Factory is that Forex Factory gives you the headlines of what of news. That's the benefit of Forex Factory. Are you doing? Forex Factory gives you the headline of news. Now, if I click on Forex Factory. You can see, you can see. Housing state, current account. In fact, Forex Factory has the chart for these currency pairs. Like these currency pairs you see, they are major currency pairs. If I click on USD, Euro USD. I will notice that my chart is appearing. Once I click on Euro USD, I'll notice that what my chart is appearing. Can you see this? So this is a chart I can even use to predict support and resistance. I will teach you support and resistance in the advanced class. I'll teach you support and resistance in the look at this. This is a support this is a resistance. So for instance, when you have two lines like this, can you imagine? Just see this. So if this line touch, there's a touch one, touch two, touch one, touch two, what happens? This market came here and broke through this place. You can enter here as a well, In fact, this support can act as a resistance to this trade. Don't worry, I'll teach you these things in the advance. I'm just giving intro because support for instance, we don't day two of the advanced class. And you can use it to make very, very good profits are you with me so that's that about support and resistance so aside that you can see the time frames and come back to trades okay you see these are trades that one can also look at i can come to forum are you with me i can do a lot of things with forex factory are you with me now let me say something I am not saying you cannot download all these apps on Play Store, but I advise you to please follow them up on what? On web. Because whenever I see them on web, it is always very clear. Are you with me? Whenever I see them on web, it is always very, very, very clear. So, class, I want to appreciate everybody for being so consistent with this training. God bless you. know. If there's one thing uh, that makes me happy is the fact that it was a free training and everyone here still had to find time to attend this training. Even when I switched the time from 8 to 8.30 p.m., immediately I dropped the link, many people just clicked in. Thank you so much for coming. But guess what? It doesn't end you. Please and please try your best to subscribe to that advanced class. And as regards, am I paying money to a criminal? Sorry, you are not paying any money to a criminal. You can, my phone number is there. I will drop it on platform, and there you can confirm 
You can also check that name on Facebook. You see everything about me. Are you with me? So everything about me remains. Are you with me? So thank you very, very, very much. God bless you all. Bye for now. Good night.